start by accessing the stock materials and adding a black background to the timeline. Navigate to the speed settings and adjust the duration to 8 seconds. Move to the text tab and insert default text onto the timeline. Ensure the duration matches the background. On the right side, type in your desired text. Choose a bold font. Adjust the text size. And change the color to green. At the beginning of the text, add a position keyframe. And move the text to the right. Then, move it to the left at the end. Duplicate the text layer and change the text color to yellow. Select the green text and black background. Right click to create a compound clip. Go to the stock materials. Select the video as an example. Drag it to the timeline middle layer. Right click to create a compound clip with the yellow text and video layers. Then, drag the video to the timeline bottom layer again. Hide the top layer. Click the green text layer, go to Video Remove BG, and click Chroma Key to remove the green color. Select the bottom two layers to create a compound clip. Click Show Top Layer Clip. Adjust the order of the two layers. Click the Top Layer Clip. Move the playhead to the 2 second mark. Go to the Video Mask. Choose Mirror. Rotate it 45 degrees. Adjust the size and add a mask keyframe. At the 4 second mark, adjust the rotation to 180 degrees. Resize the mask to cover the entire text. Move the playhead to the 6 second mark and adjust the mask size to a thin line. Click on the white box on the left side of the top clip and shrink it to one second. Go to the Animation tab. Select Rock Vertically in the Animation Options and set the animation duration to 3 seconds. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. We can see that the text has a line. Click on the bottom layer clip. Move the play cursor to the 6 second position. 
Click Split and then move to the top layer. Then we can see that the lines are gone. And that's it. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.